Hi, this is Sarita LaRoche with Lala Rush Art, and today is part two of our furniture transformation. Let me just catch you up on what we've done so far. We found this great accent table, it had beautiful bones, great hardware, and we decided to update it with some peacock inspired paint using BB Froche paint transformer. So once we had already put on the paint, we went ahead and used it some furniture transfers, peacock themed, all around the table that really gave it a little punch. So today I wanted to show you another product. This is Besting Wax from Dixie Bell in black. I used this wax to give a little bit more dimension to the structure of um, this little fan detail that they put in here and also anywhere on the furniture piece that there were little edges nooks and crannies that i thought could use some extra depth i went ahead and used a brush or used my finger and i just put that wax in there so you layer the wax on and after it has stopped being tacky i would say 10 or 15 minutes then you can go back with a soft cloth and you just brush off as much as you want and you can make it really, really dramatic, or you can just leave a very, very um, small amount. So that was my first step. And then I came in with another wax, uh, a gilding wax. It's so pretty and brilliant. I just used a small paintbrush and I just started to add the gilding wax to the raised parts of the furniture piece. So the, the black wax was for the ones that were inset, the gilding wax was to bring out the highlights on things that were raised. Works the same, you put it on, um, I used a brush, I used my finger, I should have probably worn gloves. Uh, and then you just you know, smush it around, you let it set for a few minutes, and then you wipe off any excess that you don't like. What's great about this wax is that it is a water soluble wax from Dixie Bell ba Paint Company. And so you can layer it with all of their water-based products. Um, so I was able to actually put a satin top coat over the wax later on when I was finished. So here on the drawers, also I put some of that black besting wax and then also some of the gold. I was just looking anywhere that I thought could just use a little bit more dimension or a little bit more shine. And here I put some right along the edge, uh, just give a little bit more depth to all those creases, which I really love. It was super easy, the low odor, no VOCs. Uh, then I went ahead and I just put a whole bunch on the legs. I thought it would just be fun to bring out all of those colors with this wax. And then I just rubbed it softly with a, a soft cloth to take off any excess and let the paint underneath show through. I then decided that I wanted to go ahead and paint the interior of the drawers, which I had not originally planned. Uh, I had this really great spring meadow color and I just thought it would be a fun, surprising pop of color when you open the drawer to see this vibrant green. So I primed and then I went ahead and I was gonna put one coat, but then I said, nope, nope, I'm gonna do two coats on everything at least, put two coats of paint. Once it was dry, I picked out some more of those peacock furniture transfers. And I thought, how fun would it be if you open the drawer and there's just a little fun peacock addition to the side. So the transfers are really easy. They're, they stick on themselves. You can use uh, some extra tape to hold them in place if you want. I had this tool that I found that was specifically for furniture transfers. You could use a brayer, you could use your fingernail. You just wanna put some pressure and make sure that it adheres to the wood. And I have not had any problems with any of the transfers that I used. Once I pulled off the backing, the only thing I did was rub them to make sure that every little tiny piece was um, stuck on there. And then afterwards, once I had already put all my transfers, I just made sure that they were sealed in there with a top coat, a clear top coat. 
So there were so many beautiful peacock transfers to choose from. And I was like, oh my goodness, I wish I could use them all. Uh, I still have pr probably as many as I actually used. But every drawer got a little peacock accent and uh, the colors are so bright. And against that spring meadow green, I just think that the contrast is just lovely. And um, whoever decides to pick up this piece is just gonna love it every single time they open their drawer. And now I have all kinds of ideas of where I could be using furniture transfers because I had no idea how easy it was to apply them and they really stick on there well. So here's the last one that I was putting. I made sure every single angle you opened the drawer, you were gonna see another little transfer. I, I just rubbed and rubbed and rubbed probably even more than I needed to rub just so that I could make sure when I pulled off that backing, it was absolutely adhered and I wasn't gonna tear it at all. But I had zero issue with any of the transfers that I used and I loved it when they went around corners because uh, they were so easy to manipulate. I didn't need to keep it on a flat surface. Uh, and, and with the peacock feathers, you know, the little tips, they're quite small, but I had no issue just wrapping them right over the top of those drawers and uh, the finished product is really cute. I can't wait for you to see that. Uh, I paid about $25 for a tube of these transfers, just in case you're curious. Uh, I don't represent them in any way. I just had found them for the first time. So if, I think it was worth the $25 because I could have spent a lot of time painting this by hand and not maybe not had quite the same um, beautiful finish that I have. So here's the last drawer. Look at that lovely peacock feather. I have peacocks on the brain now. <laughs> so uh, the other thing that I wanted to do other than the furniture transfers was I wanted to make sure the drawers were really completely finished. So I found this peacock inspired self stick wallpaper. And I just measured it out. And here I am kind of double checking my measurements, I, I cut it a little bigger than I needed it. And then um, I just creased it so I could see precisely where I needed to cut it. And what I liked about self stick wallpaper is that it did have a grid on the back. So cutting was really simple, I was able to stay on the lines. And also this particular wallpaper is um, wipeable, washable. So if someone you know gets the inside of their drawers dirty they're going to be able to wipe it without hurting that paper at all um, you can also decoupage um, you could also put a top satin coat over it if you uh, don't have a paper as durable as this wallpaper that i found and i just started on one side and to make sure there was no bubbles i pulled the backing very very slowly as i was pushing all those bubbles out and it just laid perfectly flat and the next thing I have here is some metal leaf glue. The hardware on this piece was, there was nothing wrong with it. It was really nice hardware, but I just decided I wanted it to be a little bit more fun, have a little bit more punch. So I took this glue, it starts out a milky white and I brushed it on all over. And I will tell you the first time that I did this, I did not hit every single spot and I should have paid a little bit more attention. I thought the milky white color was going to stay milky white longer because the instructions say that once it's clear um, and dry, it's ready to take gold leaf, but it actually turned clear on me pretty quickly. And so I did miss some spots from this first application. I had to go back in and add more, but this was my first time using this product there was no odor it was not that tacky it was very easy to clean my brush this is faux gold leaf and once once it's clear and dry you just lay it right on and it sticks to anywhere where you had put that glue it was my first time doing this and it was so easy and it really just laid flat and even when I went in for touch-ups, you could not tell where the touch-ups were. I, I feel like I should be gold leafing my life. 
this little thingy, metal thingy, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, um, was on the front of a drawer. It was glued on. And so this was actually where I got the idea to gold leaf in the first place because I did not want to yank it off the drawer. And so that's when I decided I'm going to gold leaf all the hardware. So I did the same thing. I put the glue on, got my gold leaf shiny side up, and I just very carefully laid it on everywhere that had glue adhered to the gold leaf. And then for this one, I just used a brush to just really adhere it all around. I wanted, I didn't want to have to do this one twice like the, like I did the handles. And it just went on so smooth and so pretty. And so um, as I laid it on, obviously the parts that are not adhering to the glue, they're going to come off. So I tried to get the big parts off in, in large chunks because uh, those are all usable for other small projects. And then once I had most of the big chunks, um, I used a combination of pressure with the brush, also blowing. Um, it could have been helpful to have some maybe compressed air for some of the little nooks and crannies where I had to really blow and blow. Um, but once that was done, I got the Dixie Belle clear satin coat. That's what you see here. And I just covered everything in a satin coat, including the hardware, so that that gold leaf would be um, preserved in there forever. Again, no VOCs, low odor, easy cleanup. It's my first time using Dixie Bell products and I was really impressed. Um, I just put a very, very thin coat and then I ended up doing using a very, very fine grain sandpaper and I did another coat and here it is, all finished my peacock accent table. I just love it. It's got just a punch of color. It's a little bit outrageous. It's a little bit fancy. Uh, it's definitely a statement piece. It is exactly what I was imagining when I saw that table. And when I saw that table, I told my husband, I know exactly what I want to do. We have got to get this table. And so there you see the, the paper, the little punches of color from those transfers on the side. I usually say that I make a beautiful mess and I will say that I made a mess while I was doing this, but I think this table is just beautiful and I hope you agree. So that's Sarita LaRoche, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate you all. You have a great day and keep making a beautiful mess.